Hey, this is Tuhan Aditya. Today I wanted to share with you guys some drills with the heavy pipe. These are specifically single stick or single um, saw drills that I'm going to be doing with this added weighted resistance. The story behind the pipe is basically a couple of years ago I walked into a hardware shop and I asked them um, for the thickest pipe they had and I asked them to cut it into two pieces. Um, the length of the pipe is about the length of my arm, like your standard Kali stick, but the diameter is about um, an inch and a half. If I could go back, I would probably choose a thinner pipe to begin with because it took me many years to get used to this, especially my wrists. Um, so yeah, if I could go back, and what I would recommend is starting with a thinner pipe than this. Um, it just makes life far easier. The drills we're going to be doing um, are all going to be utilizing my reverse 45 degree footwork. The reason that is is because this is quite, uh, it's, a heavy, it's a heavy bar and it takes a while to learn control and if I do any other footwork the chances are that I might hit myself. So I'm going to be doing this sort of reverse 45 degree footwork so that that back leg gets um, out of the line of the, of the heavy pipe as it swings through. If you aren't familiar with this footwork I'm going to add a link to that video down below. First check that out, get comfortable with that footwork and then come back and try this with uh, whatever heavy pipe or heavy stick that you want to use. The first drill is super simple, it's just an angle one. As I throw, um, throw my leg back, whichever leg is going to go back, that hand is going to swing forward and do my angle one. From here I switch hands, come back square, come back square, As you can see, as I'm swinging through, that back leg is clear. Just to give you a comparison, if I was doing my ranging footwork, especially because the weight is a bit hard to control in the beginning, sometimes you might end up doing something like this. But with the reverse 45 degree footwork, that uh, line is clear for the, for the stick to go through. So, I want to be changing hands somewhere here, post the follow through. Don't change hands down here. You want to make sure that your follow through is complete and then you change hands here or even once you reach the other shoulder, you can change hands there as well. That's what I would recommend you do in the beginning. Um, it, ju it just makes life easier, otherwise people I've seen them sort of uh, miss the stick and drop the stick. So in the beginning, swing. Once it gets onto the shoulder, then change hands. Swing, once it's on the other shoulder, then change hands. As you're more comfortable with this, you can change hands before the shoulder as well, but after the follow through. The second drill is us stacking on the first drill. So now we're gonna do an angle one, and we're gonna, you can either come back with a horizontal strike or a reverse diagonal strike. Again, using my uh, reverse 45 degree footwork. So I go one, Step, swing as I come back. Again, swing down, swing back. Swing down, swing back. Similar to the first time, this back leg is going back as the angle one comes. It's so that your the line for the angle one is clear. I'm going to follow through. But now, as I'm squaring, I'm using that momentum to shoot my reverse diagonal, my angle four. So as I square, I'm using my the the momentum of my hip squaring to help me come back with that angle four, and that's on both sides. First drill, you were changing hands with every swing of that angle one. So I was swinging, stepping, and I've changed my hands. On every swing, I've changed my hands. In the second and third drill, you're going to do um, a round of however many minutes on each hand, and then switch hands. So I'm going to first only going. To, I'm only going to do my right hand with my reverse 45 degree footwork, 
and then I'm going to switch to my left hand and I'm only going to do my left hand for however much time. Uh, make sure that it's equal amount of time on your right hand and left hand. Like the second drill built on the first drill, the third drill is going to build on the second drill. Again, it's going to be a drill where we're going to first do one hand, finish that round, then go to the next hand. This drill, we're going to go diagonal angle one. You can come again with a horizontal or a reverse diagonal into a circular. Now, this is going to put a little bit more tension on your wrist. So please spend as much time as possible on the first and second drills. Build up your strength before you come on to um, this, this third variation. The footwork coordination is going to be the same. I'm going to swing with my angle one. But instead of coming back to my shoulder, it's going to go down to a medium load. I'm going to come back. Same with my squaring footwork. I'm going to come back with the angle four. And now as I throw this other leg back, that's going to be my angle two. Again, I'm throwing the other leg back to clear the path for the angle two. So one, reverse diagonal, circular. Diagonal, reverse diagonal, circular. Diagonal, reverse diagonal, circular. Diagonal, reverse diagonal, circular. The other thing that you can uh, work on, depending, let's say that you could only find a pipe which was maybe a bit too heavy for you. Uh, the solution that you can try is instead of having that normal punyo of Four finger width, uh, four, four, four finger, four finger width, or two finger width. You can have a slightly longer punyo. Um, don't go too high because then you can hit yourself with the with the back end of the stick. But depending on how strong you are, you can go just about here, maybe. Um, as long as you don't hit yourself with the back end of the stick. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if you learned from what you saw, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Um, please do share this video. It really does help out the channel and the school a lot. Um, and see you guys in the next video.